Hey guys, this is Casey Ferris. Thanks for checking out another one of my video tutorials. Today we are talking about how to use a LUT inside of Final Cut Pro 10. What you need, how to do it, and a tip or two along the way. If you've downloaded a LUT and tried to import it into Final Cut Pro 10, you may have realized for yourself that Final Cut Pro 10 won't open a LUT by default. So what you have to do is you have to have some type of plugin that will load the LUT for you. So before we even jump into Final Cut, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite plugins, which is called LUT Utility by Color Grading Central. This is a really nice lightweight LUT utility that you can put into Final Cut Pro 10 and load LUTs to your heart's content. They have a free trial. They also have a paid version for $29, which is definitely worth it if you do a lot of LUTing. So if you type in your name and email, they'll send you a link to download a free trial. And once you download and unzip that folder, it looks something like this. There's a README with a bunch of nice instructions, as well as a apply LUT fxplug.package and a LUT utility installer.package. First thing you need to do, double click the apply LUT fxplug.package, continue and blindly agree to everything. Don't read anything, just, just agree to it. And that's going to install a preference pane, which if you open up system preferences, you can bring up this Color Grading Central LUT Utility pane. And then the second part is you need to double click the LUT Utility Installer, and that actually installs all the fancy things that it actually needs to work inside of Final Cut. So after you've ran both of those, go up to System Preferences and open that Preference pane, and you should see a bunch of LUTs here in the Manage LUTs list. So now that everything's looking good, we can open up Final Cut. And here we are in Final Cut, and if you open up your effects panel, which if that doesn't exist is right here, and you can go down to LUT utility, and here it says apply LUT, and you can just drag this onto whatever clip you like, and that brings up the apply LUT panel here in your effect controls. And where it says 3D LUT, you can twirl that down, and here's that same list of LUTs that's in your preference pane. And so you can apply whatever type of LUT you'd like to, get things looking nice. And they also have a convenient little mix slider and you can grab that and kind of split the difference between no LUT and full on LUT. You know, kind of have a nice happy medium. Yeah, it's nice. So those are good for the LUTs that come installed with the plugin, but if you'd like to use a different LUT, those are easy to install as well. I'm gonna quit Final Cut, open up my preference pane again. And here under Manage LUTs, there's a plus and a minus. If I hit plus, I can add LUTs to my list. So I'm gonna grab some of these LUTs from our Hang Time 2 pack, and they should appear here under Manage LUTs. Now I can close that preference pane and open up Final Cut. And now if I go to my 3D LUT dropdown, there I have my new LUTs. And a lot of these LUTs should look pretty nice because they're designed for ProToon footage, but if you find yourself needing to adjust the image, the easiest thing to do is grab this color correction effect and drop it on your footage. And here it appears under Apply LUT. I'll just move it to above it because I want to tweak this image before it hits the LUT. I'm gonna open up the color board by hitting this little arrow. And I can go over and tweak my exposure in my shadows and my midtones and get a nice look. Same thing goes for another clip. All I have to do is grab my LUT utility, drag it onto my footage, and I can pick my LUT pretty quickly. So there we go, a simple guide on how to use LUTs inside of Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want more tutorials on post-production, color grading, editing, all of that stuff, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. My name, again, is Casey Ferris. Thanks for watching.